Welcome everyone to the Moisky News for April 29th, 2020. Today I would like to talk about what the Scottish Government has advised the public to do. Wear face masks all the time, yo. Nicholas Sturgeon, and no, we're not going to mock her anymore because it's getting lazy, says that science shows there <clears throat> may be some benefit because we should always act on that kind of cold, hard facts. It should already be noted the advice is not compulsory. Thank the Lord for that. The WHO, or the Fraud of an Institute, who are about as credible as a current year Scottish scientist, have advised and recommended that only those that are sick or showing symptoms, along with those caring for those suspected of having COVID-19, should wear face masks, as we have got to try and keep stocks of personal protective equipment there for the NHS and care workers. Granted, many are homemaking their own. My sister herself has also made some with crochet. I was half tempted as a joke to put them on Etsy. We shall see. Others, of course, have taken to go into hardware stores to purchase the other type of face masks that you normally see when people spray paint or do sanding. And then you have the extremes. You have those that wear the full-on face visor akin to a riot shield, and others wearing what looks like a very steampunky face mask, but more like a gas mask. Something used either <clears throat> with marijuana, okay, or in the boudoir. All jokes aside, there are three very good reasons for why people should not wear them for general public use. They would include, they can in fact be contaminated by other people's coughs and sneezes or when putting them on or removing them. Two, frequent hand washing and social distancing have been proven to be more effective. And three, they might offer a false sense of security. I stand by what I said last night on Twitch, streaming there later tonight, link below, when I said that I see an increase of people wearing those in my town, which has me concerned. Either people don't understand the advice and guidance, or there are a lot of people very sick in my town. I may well have to escalate my 2020 No Lives Matter campaign, because seeing all these sick people is starting to do my head in. The European Centre for Disease Prevention and Control, or the European CDC, has agreed that medical face masks should be prioritised for healthcare workers. But it does say non-surgical face masks worn by the public might help control the spread of infection by people who are contagious but do not yet have symptoms. The most important word there being could. I see we're still working within the realm of cold hard fact. While the Scottish Government is advising the public wear them pretty much everywhere, the UK Government is not advising people to wear the masks. This could be because of limited supplies when it comes to PPE, which would certainly lend credence to when the uh, Health Secretary flexed about 1 billion pieces of PPE being handed out, which upon closer inspection meant they counted the gloves twice. Yes, not a joke. One for each hand, that's an item. One, two. Lovely. Somehow those numbers feel oddly inflated now. Other countries when it comes to face masks are handling this differently. For example, in Germany it is compulsory on public transport, and mandatory when shopping in nearly all of the country's 16 states. In Austria, it is compulsory to wear masks in supermarkets and pharmacies. In Italy's worst affected region, everyone must cover their nose and mouth when outside. In France, the government plans to give out face masks to the general public, where one could in fact become mandatory on public transport. In Portugal, masks could be compulsory in schools and on public transport. I see the word could yet again appearing. In Canada, air passengers are required to wear a non-medical mask or face covering. And Americans have been advised to wear cloth face coverings in public settings, where other social distancing measures are difficult to maintain. This would include supermarkets and pharmacies. There's been discussion about what the best type of face mask at the moment is. Currently, it is advised that people don't purchase N95s, which is this type, arguably the best type available, because these are limited and ideally best suited for healthcare workers who are in close contact with COVID-19 patients. Other types of masks available would include these. These are surgical masks, 
they do not protect against smaller airborne particles. But everyone's wearing them. I've only seen people wear similar to the N95s from hardware stores. But if you can, please don't purchase the actual ones. It'd be really handy if you don't. Those who need it over those who want it. With Scotland's advice that everyone wear them, I'm very much interested to know what you think. Do you think, perhaps, that we should all wear them regardless? I'm personally not a fan of having something in front of my face while I breathe, but I think for the most part, if it became mandated, the majority of us would adapt accordingly. Please do let me know what you think about this in the comments down below.